Hi, welcome to this Excel tutorial video and today we're going to look at two new functions uh, text and REPT. Text allows us to format um, date. in this example we're going to look at dates, formatting dates and decimal values. Uh, REPT repeats characters and what it will allow us to do is to pad um, particular bits of text with other another piece of text so it might be that we're going to prefix values to pad it to a particular length or we're going to add values after a piece of text so that it it is a particular length in total so let us start by looking at what's on screen I've got five columns here and um, always slightly different uh, value types so we've got a, a, a number there we've got text we've got a date we've got a decimal we've got um, uh, bit um, what we're going to look at first of all is the text function so if I just do equals text text requires two parameters one the field that you want to format and the second parameter being the format that you want to use so what I'm going to use here is I'm going to format this date and I'm going to use in double quotes I'm going to say I want it to be day day month month year year 010121 which is that there um, I can change that to say actually I want it to be uh, well you can see there if, you, if I put three M's it, it brings a pre uh, a smaller uh, text version of the date and if you put four M's it puts the sorry of the month it puts the month in full and at the same time I can add an extra couple of Y's here and it will put the year in full and maybe if I just get rid of that I can also say I, I want it to be prefixed with um, a dash or maybe I want it to be prefixed with something a space um, any format I like it will recognize because it knows this is a date time field it will recognize these D's and M's and Y's also um, it will recognize H's for hours S's for seconds um, it doesn't have to be that I can put a dash between them so you can format them format the date however you like um, next we're going to look at formatting this value field so let me just change this from C2 to D2 and I now need to think about okay because this is a decimal and not a date these D's and M's and Y's aren't going to mean anything so what I'm going to say is I want this to be um, in the format of two decimal places with at least one character to the left of the decimal point that works nice I can say actually I want it to be three decimal places I can say no actually I want it to be at least at the very least five characters to the left of the decimal point and three after it and it will add the zeros before uh, the one to pad it to five uh, numbers to the left of the decimal point Okay, so there's a couple of options there for um, text. Now let's look at this. Um, we're going to look at REPT. And this repeats a given piece of text an amount of times. So let me just repeat 0 10 times. Let me repeat the letter Z 40 times. What's, what's good about this is you don't have to guess if you know that this in this field you need to have 12 Z's um, I think that's 12 but in order for me to be certain I could I could count it or I could say what's the length of that field yeah it is 12 but it, rather than me guessing I could just say equals REPT Z 12 uh, oops sorry I need to put an equals at the beginning and there's 12 Z's so whatever's in here it'll repeat it 12 times or however many times you put here so with all that in mind I recently had to create a file format to insert into a, a, a specific application um, and I had to give it a very very precise format with fields 
um, separated by a very specific amount of spaces and fields padded with zeros. So let us try and replicate that in this example. So first of all, I want to create a file format using these five fields here. First of all, my code needs to be prefixed with zeros so that the code is eight characters wide. And for that, I'm going to say write. I'm going to say REPT um, zero eight times. And oh, hold on a sec. Oh, I've just it's because I've tried to put spaces in one second. Let me just finish that off. Sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> what I've done here, let me just show you something here. I have I'll just take this apart. So I've got two um, functions in here in one. So if I just look at first of all this, this says get me eight eight zeros and the value that's in A2. Then this says get me the right eight characters of that result. Yeah? So right uh, eight characters of that result. There's the eight. And if I just drag this down you'll see that it works regardless of the size of the code. Then I want 10 spaces. Space 10 times. Now I can't really show you that without something after it. So just nice, just very quickly, I'm going to say, uh, just to show you, there you go, 10 spaces. It might not look like 10, 10 spaces, but it is. Um, this font here, um, spaces are quite narrow uh, compared to other characters. So it might not look like 10 spaces, but it is. I'll prove it in a bit. <clears throat> but actually, I don't want the description immediately. I want the description and spaces up to 40 characters. So in order to do that, I'm going to say uh, left. I'm going to say the description field. And REPT 40 spaces. And then because just to finish the left 40 characters and it gets well, in fact, I can't show you that. Let me just add in. Um, so now you can see if I just run this down here. Uh, oh, in fact, you, you can't see it just because of the, the font. But I will prove that in a minute. Let me just get rid of that to avoid confusion. But you can see now a description and then a lot of spaces before the word here. So... After the description, we're going to put the date in, in a very particular format, using the text function that we looked at before. Um, so I'm going to do C2. And the format I want is year, year, month, month, date, date. So that's nice and straightforward. Then, then I want to put the amount. Well, I want the amount to be a particular length. I want it to be five characters to the left of the decimal point and two to the right. So I'm going to, for that, use the text function again. And I'm going to say D2. And I'm going to say one, two, three, four, five, one. Um, ah, sorry, I need 10 spaces between the date and time. Using RBPT, space 10 times. That's better. And then finally, we're going to put five spaces and then the active value here. So if I just do and REPT space five times and then E2. And if I drag that down, it might not look like it, but they are now formatted. And to prove it, if I copy that and I open up a blank notepad, and I paste it in my blank notepad, you can see that regardless of the length of things, they're all formatted and in line ready for importing into my system. I hope that was straightforward. I hope uh, it helped. If you've got any questions or comments, please, uh, please leave them next to the video. Uh, any feedback's appreciated. Thanks a lot for your time. See you next time.